Hi everyone, I am Devarun Sengupta, a PhD researcher with the Department of Advanced Production Engineering at University of Groningen. Uh, I'm working under the supervision of Dr. Ajay Giriprakash Kottaballi, and I am joining here at IEEE Sensors 2020 virtual conference to talk about my research on graph flexible graphene on PDMS sensors for human motion monitoring applications. So in this work, I will talk about flexible graphene on PDMS sensors for human motion monitoring applications and what we did for this work at our department. I will quickly go through the contents first. Uh, I will introduce you to some flexible and wearable sensor technologies which are available and talk briefly about nanomaterial polymer composite based sensors and their applications. Uh, then before moving on to introduce our sensor, I will quickly talk about the motivation behind the work and then introduce you to our sensor fabrication methodology the characterizations we have conducted, some basic tests involving tapping, stretching to show sensor response, and then apply to some real human motion monitoring applications to demonstrate the usability of our sensors before finally wrapping up. Uh, flexible and wearable sensors have been a hot topic of research for past two and a half decades or so. And people mostly have worked on piezoresistive, capacitive, and piezoelectric sensing mechanisms. Whereas piezoelectric devices are suited for self-powered application, piezoresistive sensors are attractive because of their ability to hold signals for longer period of time. And they are suitable for both dynamic and static strain sensing applications. Our work concerns with nanomaterial polymer composite based sensors. And in this slide, I have just summarized some of the works which have, people have conducted in various research groups. In past, we have fabricated carbon nanofiber PDMS based flexible sensors. People have worked on reduced graphene oxide aerogel based sensors, then reduced graphene oxide polyurethane sponges, silver nanoware PDMS composite based sensors, carbon black PDMS flexible sensors, graphene porous network PDMS based flexible sensors. We have also developed uh, a 3D printed graphene on PDMS sensor in the past for flow and strength sensing applications. Applications of these sensors typically range from human vitals monitoring to tactile sensing, electronic smart skin for robotics and myelectric processes. And also people usually develop these sensors for soft robotic or human machine interface applications. The motivation behind this work has been to develop a sensor for stretchable and flexible wearable electronics applications. Uh, advancement in telemedicine and a necessity for patient specific personalized treatment plans has led to a rise in demand for flexible and wearable sensors targeted towards monitoring of human vitals. Human motion monitoring in individuals suffering from various neurological and other locomotor disorders like Parkinson disease, multiple sclerosis, Huntington disease can provide valuable information regarding the progression of the disease. Home-based monitoring of physical movement can help in tracking disease progression, enabling healthcare professionals to develop personalized treatment plans for patients suffering from these conditions. And thus, we need a non-invasive monitoring of human locomotion, which leads to the necessity for thin, flexible, lightweight, and wearable sensors, which are tailored for human motion monitoring applications. So in this work, we have developed a four-step method of fabricating flexible, stretchable, and thin graphene on PDMS piezoresistive strain sensors. 
The strain sensors presented in this work utilizes the piezoelectric property observed in a dense graphene nanoflex percolation network sandwiched between two flexible PDMS layers. The figure on the left shows a photograph of uh, an array of the sensors which we have developed for this work. The fabrication is a four-step simple method where we start with a two-inch silicon wafer secured on a vacuum chuck. We spin coat a PDMS bottom layer and cure it. And then we place two copper electrodes for the electrical contact and screen print a graphene percolation network on top of that. To finally encapsulate the whole sensor, we, we spin coat a PDMS top layer and then cure it. And the figure on the extreme right bottom shows a fabricated sensor, which is completely encapsulated in PDMS. Uh, to understand the strength sensing mechanism, we did a morphological characterization where we diced the sensor and took a cross section and placed it, placed it on a stub to study it under the microscope. Uh, as you can see in the micrograph in figure A, the graphene layer is sandwiched between two to 100 micrometer thick PDMS layer. And then we zoom in onto the GNP layer and the micrograph on the right shows the zoomed in version of the SEM image. And we can see a dense percolation network of graphene where the graphenes are basically intersecting each other or there is there are considerable overlaps between two graphene adjacent domains at rest uh, as we see in schematic c the pdms is sandwiching the nanoflex percolation network there is a starting overlap between the graphene domains as we start stretching the sensor the, there is a change in overlap within the nanoflex network and this leads, leads to a change in overall resistance of the sensors and this explains the strain induced resistance modulation mechanism which we observe in this case for practical stretching tapping and all sensing experiments we designed a Whitstone bridge circuit um, where the resistance R1 and R3 was 4.7 kilo ohms. The, there was a variable resistor of 0 to 4.7 kilo ohm, and our sensor had a resistance of roughly 4.5 kilo ohms. And the output from the bridge was acquired with a national instrument data acquisition setup. The plot in figure B shows the stretching response of the sensor where we stretched more or less uh, in a consistent manner for a few cycles to demonstrate the stretching response. And then we also showed a localized tapping response of the sensor. And as you can see, tapping produces less response as compared to stretching, as tapping is more localized, whereas stretching involves the whole sensor being stretched and more resistance change. To demonstrate some practical human motion monitoring application, first we demonstrate a simple phonation analysis or in this case, it's just a gulping test where we secured our sensor on the laryngeal prominence of a human test subject. And the test subject was asked to gulp at a regular interval in a periodic fashion. And we can see from the plot in figure B, there are peaks while the test subject gulped and more or less there was a consistent response from the sensors which we acquired. We also applied our sensors for gate monitoring applications and as we have talked that gate, uh, gate monitoring is, uh, is of interest to us because gate monitoring helps to track progression of diseases like Parkinson's, Huntington's, multiple sclerosis, or people recovering from a trauma which impairs the gait. So two similar sensors were secured on the knee region of our sport leggings, and it was worn by a test subject. The test subject was asked to bend his knee at 90 degree, followed by a 45 degree angle. 
and the plot in figure B shows the bending response for 90 and 45 degree angles. And as expected, 90 degree bending produces more sensor output as compared to 45 degree bending as the sensor is stretched more. To demonstrate a gate monitoring, the test subject was asked to work at a normal pace and the data was continuously logged. And the zoomed in plot on figure D shows the gate characteristics where we see a clear phase lag between the left and right knee. And this kind of uh, phase lag will help us identify the gate pattern in a person. Now this idea has been uh, extrapolated and we have uh, calibrated two sensors and developed a software in Arduino to track real-time gate monitoring. And I have prepared a video to demonstrate that where the person is asked to rest first, followed by a normal walking for a duration. And then the person tries to mimic what we can call as limping. And then the person again crosses over to a normal walking before resting. And the video demonstrates that the software is able to identify the rest condition followed by a normal walking where it shows normal gait behavior. And then when the person tries mimicking a limping characteristic, the software identifies that as well. Basically the software can identify that the left foot is producing lesser response as compared to the right. And hence there is some anomality in the gait. And then when the person switches back to a normal gait, the software identifies it correctly. And again, when the person rests, the software can identify that very well. And this, with this, I would like to summarize our work. And we have successfully established a facile method of fabricating a class of highly flexible graphene on PDMS strain sensors for human motion monitoring application. The fabrication method comprised of spin coating the substrate PDMS layers and it ensured repeatable sensor characteristics. The sensor fabricated in this work were utilized for demonstrating applicability in practical human motion monitoring applications involving phonation sensing, gait characterization, and joint locomotion. The sensor design and fabrication method presented in this work lays down the foundation for a future class of accurate and repeatable flexible sensors targeted for wearable sensor applications. I would like to acknowledge uh, University of Groningen startup grant awarded to my supervisor, which funded this work. And the authors would also like to thank Uttorio Shaha for his uh, assistance with gate characteristic monitoring experiments. With this, I would uh, like to conclude my presentation and I would be happy to take a few questions if you have. And I wish you all the best and I wish you and your family stay healthy during this pandemic. Thank you very much. Very much.